Hi there. Good evening, Mecca. Thank you for joining me here. Uh, basically, we want to know who you are. Just introduce yourself and tell us what you do. And right. uh, you can you can tell us uh, um, how old you are and then what you do. Yeah, go on. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you very much for having me. My name is Emeka. I am 20 years old, uh, soon to be 21. And I am a freelance YouTube script writer, which is quite a, which is quite a mouthful, but just for short, I'm a writer who works in the gig economy. So I get my clients on Fiverr and Upwork. Um, and yeah, that's how I earn a living, basically. When you say earn a living, is it just um, making just enough to get by or do you really make you know, good income from what you do? Yeah, definitely. I make I, uh, for what I do. I make I would say I make good income. Um, definitely more than enough to sustain my lifestyle. Okay, so for people like you who do similar things like you do, I wouldn't want you to call tell us exactly what you earn. What kind of incomes are you pulling from being a YouTube video scripter? Uh, okay, so uh, per <clears throat> year, um, I think uh, around the thousand dollar mark. Um, is a good place to aim for per month. A month? Um, per I month. think, yeah, per month is a really good okay. place to aim for for people who are I'm definitely not new to it, but, you know, um, it's a good target to have $1,000 a month, which is, you know, really good for, especially because, you know, we're living in Nigeria and we know what the minimum wage is. Um, <laughs> yeah, $1,000 per month is a good um, target that most people can aim for it can be below that, it can be above that, but around that is fine. So somebody who becomes a uh, basically a writer first, because exactly. for you to specialize in writing YouTube scripts, you must have the foundation of being able to write very well. You used to write for us in those days. So from then you metamorphose into, so what led you into YouTube scripting? How did you get the idea of writing scripts for YouTube videos? Um, so like you said, I was writing for you. Um, I was writing for Mr. Chime's room for years. Um, I was writing articles at the time, um, but I've always been in love with YouTube as a platform. I've always seen, um, I've always consumed YouTube content. I, I watch YouTube a lot, even till now that I produce for YouTube, I still watch a lot of YouTube. So I always liked YouTube. And so um, it got to a point, and I think everyone gets to that point where you feel like you can't really work for one person anymore. Uh, you just get to that point where you feel like, and it's not even like pride or anything, but you just get to that point where you feel like you've outgrown a certain space and, you know, you want more, you want your own clients, you want to be able to negotiate prices on your own and everything like that. Um, and so I went on, uh, I did a lot of research, like, okay, because I knew that, okay, my boss was getting his clients from somewhere. Um, so that means there are clients out there that, you know, want to do this type of thing. So I went on YouTube and I searched like, okay, what platforms can I get clients for? my initial thoughts was actually article writing. So I was like, okay, where can I get clients for article writing? And they were like, Fiverr Upwork. So I opened a Fiverr account because most people said Fiverr was better. I don't really know which is better. Like some people prefer Upwork, but I prefer Fiverr personally. So I opened the Fiverr account. I think I opened it in November, 2019. And for a month, there was nothing, absolutely nothing. So I went back, did a ton of research, watched a lot of videos on like, okay, things you should do, how to get good tags, how to get good, um, how to optimize your gig for search engine optimization, things like that. And I went back and I was always like iterating, iterating, iterating. And then I remember like January, 2020, I got my first gig was $10 for 2000 words. So it was nothing. 